before we start one thing must be cleared the word compass has two meaning and both are used in geometry the first one we have already seen it's an instrument of drawing circles and arcs the euclidean tool that we use for construction but there is another uh, compass which is a magnetic pointer and the lecture is mainly about this type of compass compass so we have to use this magnetic uh, tool for bearing so that compass and the other compass they are different the other tool we are going to use is protractor not protector protractor protractor so protractor is an instrument for measuring angles typically in the form of a flat semicircle marked with degrees along the curved edge so that's the protractor we're going to use. Let's start. Bearing is the angle uh, measured from north. When we uh, travel in uh, air or in water, that's called navi navigation. And in air, we, it's called aviation. They don't have roads or any place to go. So what they use, they use a compass. The compass is like a magnet. Uh, it points to the north of the earth. It, that's how the magnet of the earth aligns with that and bearing gives us an idea where we are going it is measured uh, from the north and in the clockwise direction so altogether a bearing is an angle from 0 to 360 degree so let me show you so this is the compass so it is always going to point towards the north and if we move uh, suppose you want to go somewhere this is going to change this is this is going to change and we are going to align ourselves to north and see where we are actually going so if you if you can see so this is zero degree bearing it's going towards north and this is 20 40 60 and this is 90 degree that is east 110 120 100, so 160 degree means you're going in that direction over here south means here going downwards then you have 220 to uh, 240 260 and this is 270 degree bearing so if you have a 270 degree bearing you're going west or towards the left then 280 300 320 340 and 360 degree so what happens this is always going to point towards the a, a north but as you move you know the plane or you know as you move you're not going to always be in that direction so you have to decide so suppose you're here and you decide that we are going to go towards east suppose a bearing of 60 degrees so that's where you have to go so what you do you turn the plane in that direction a bearing of 60 degree and you go and you know where north is and that's how this works bearing is also used by uh, you know navigators so when you go on a ship so you don't know where is right left east west so you use the compass so you want to move in a bearing of suppose 70 degrees so that's how you move in that direction 70 degree in that direction and it's going to be like this and you align yourself you align the uh, suppose this is pointing towards north but you know this red direction is not so you have to align yourself to a bearing of 70 degree like this and then you go in that direction that that's how you move so that's how this works but when we do construction we have to use a protractor because we're not going to use an actual uh, compass to do the bearing we have to use a protractor and we have to put the protractor in such a way that zero degree starts from here and we measure it so 90 degree bearing means going towards the right 180 degree bearing means going towards downward that means south 270 degree bearing. so these are all 90 degree quadrant 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 and using protractor we have to make our measurements so this is the tool we are going to use this is the protractor you, you align it like this so with the north it's going to be zero degree so zero can be measured from here to 180 degree or from here downwards to 180 degree either way so what we do when we want to measure the bearing we know the north has to be zero so we align it like this so that we mark a portion where it is north and we align it in such a way we can measure the bearing like this 0 degree 10 degree 20 degrees so this is this is going uh, east so that's how we are going to use the protractor so let's do an example to see how this works so what we have here uh, the bearing of b from a is 135 degree so 
we have to draw and label it and we also have to measure the length AA to B 6 centimeter. So bearing of 135 degree uh, it's going to be in the actual compass it's going to be here 100, 120, 135 degree. So going in this direction. So what we have to do we have to turn the boat and we have to go in that direction. So that's that's how we're going to work here. So let's let's see how it works out. So let's uh, bring out our protractor. So the first thing we have to do we have to align the protractor so that we can mark out a bearing of 35 degree. So it's going to be okay like this. So north is zero. So this is zero degree and 135 degree is going to be here. So let me mark here a point. So 135 degree is here. Okay. Now after that let me join this. But we have to join it 6 centimeter. That's what the measure. So that's what they mentioned in the question. So in order to measure that we need our compass to make the measurement because that is the most accurate marking out with a compass. So this is 0 degree 0 to 6 centimeter. So this. Okay, so let's put the compass over here, exactly here at the point A, and mark out 6 centimeters. So 6 centimeter, it's a distance of like this. So this is 6 centimeter. Okay, so it has to be here. So now what we can do here, we know that it has to be, the angle has to go through here. So that is going to be the line. So let us join this from here all the way from here. So we have to join this taking a ruler. So here it has to go through this because this is 135 degree and it has 6 centimeter is going to be way off screen. So let me take a bit less to show the point. So this is it. This is this is going to be the line. Now let me mark off here another cardinal over here so that we remember this place. So this is this is the point B. So let me mark off here a vertical line like this so that it is another cardinal. So this is the point B. This is A, this is B. So let's see what next. Now after this is done, A, B, 6 centimeter after this is done, write down the bearing of A from B. Okay, now we have to write down the bearing of A from B. So now we have to measure the bearing from here. So they did not say measure it. They said write it down. It means we don't have to think about any construction, but if we did, then we know the entire bearing is 360 degree. So the best thing to do is measure this portion and subtract it. Now you know lines are parallel. This this line and this line is parallel. So this this angle is going to be if you subtract from 135 degree, so it is going to be 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. So it is going to be around. 45 degrees. So if you subtract from 360 degrees, you, you remember bearing is measured in the clockwise direction. So from 360 degrees, if you subtract it, it is going to be so 360 uh, minus 45 degree. It turns out to be 350 degree, 15 degrees. So the bearing would be 315 degree. Another use of the protractor is the pie chart. So pie chart, it's a sector of a circle where we have to find an angle that represents that particular sector. So if you want to find a pie chart, it would cut out sectors. So one angle of sector is the value, suppose angle of A is the value of A divided by total value that we have into 360 degree because it's part of a circle. So let's do this example. First of all, we have to find the angles. So 45%, what does it mean? So 45% means the angle going to be, so the angle for labor is going to be, 45% means 45 is the value and the total is 100 into 360 degree and that is going to be 162. Then similarly, we can find the angle for materials that is 35 and the total is 100 and 360 degree so that is going to be 126 degree then we have advertising 
that is going to be 15%. 15 by 100 into 316 degree, that is going to be 54 degree. And finally, we have administration. That is going to be 5 by 100 into 360 degree. That is 18 degree. Okay, so we have to put this in a pie chart and we have to use a protractor. So the first value that we have to put is 162 degree. The first thing that you do is you start with a line over here where you can put your protractor and start with the measurement. So the first that we have to do is 162 degrees. So let's put the protractor over here. So 162 degree is 0 to here is 1, six, this is 162 degree. So let me mark it off over here. So 160, 161, 162 is here. Okay, so, so let me join this with a line. So this is going to be over here. So this is 162 degree. The next, so material is 126 degree. Okay, so now we put the protractor, we align it with here, with this line. With this line. Now we measure 126 degrees. So let's start from here. So 0 here, 120, 126 is around here this one let me let me put a mark over here so 126 degree is going to be around here so let's join this so it is going to be this 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 angle over here okay so we join this now the next one is 54 degree so 54 degree is going to be now we align it here we align it with this, with this line. Every time we get a new line, we align it with that. So we have to get 56 degree, so 54 degree. So 54 degree is going to be, so this is 50. So 54 is right here. We can make a mark over here. Let me mark it. So here, remember the inner, inner values. So 54 is here. Okay, now what we have to do, we have to join it. Let's join this. So this is going to be like this. So now the rest we don't have to measure. It's going to be 18 degree. So now we can uh, label this. The first one is this is 162 degree. So this is labor. Next is this one is 126 degree. This is materials next one is 54 degree this is ads and this is administration this is 18 degree so this is how you measure a pie chart